So your agent calls you and you got yourself an audition that you absolutely love and are perfect for. Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you a technique that's not only going to stack the odds in your favor, but it's definitely going to be giving you the upper hand of your competition. Let's go. Hello everybody out there. I hope you're doing well. Thank you again for tuning in to Acting with Chad Rook. I am super excited today because in today's video, I'm going to teach you a technique that is going to stack the odds in your favor in an audition and give you the upper hand over your competition. Now, throughout the years, I have taught and personally coached a lot of actors tips and tricks to help them in the audition room. But what I find is that a lot of actors go in and only do a two-dimensional audition as opposed to a three-dimensional audition. Let me explain. When someone comes in and does a two-dimensional audition, which unfortunately most actors do, what they're doing is basically doing what's on the page. It's them and it's another character. They stand there and they basically just act out with the other character in the scene. That's it. Then their audition is over and guess what? their audition is over. It ends there. It doesn't get to a callback. It doesn't get to another audition. It doesn't get to a casting call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a trick that every actor should not only know, but apply to every single audition going forward. Now, to make your audition three-dimensional, there's two major components that you need to include in your audition that's going to give you that upper hand. Number one, most actors forget to use their surroundings, okay? The location of the audition. They usually is just, you know, it's just them and the other character and maybe a couple, you know, head movements and that's it. Now, if you were to three-dimensionalize your audition, it's going to be completely different, way more entertaining. You're immediately going to be uh, ahead of the game in comparison to your competition, and, and you're just stacking the odds in your favor to be cast for that role. For example, say the scene is a bank robbery scene, and you're an undercover cop, and you walk into the bank, Okay, and, and you see hostages on the ground, and then you see the bank robbers, and then you interact with them. Well, a lot of actors are just going to come into the scene, okay, in their audition, and start speaking to the bank robbers. Now, a three-dimensionalized audition, and an actor who knows how to do that, is going to come into the scene, they're going to look around, they're going to see the hostages on the ground, they're going to tell them to be quiet because they're still looking around to, you know, for the bank robbers. And then they see the bank robbers and then it begins. It, it gives you a fully rounded three-dimensional you know, start to your audition that others aren't including. And you are immediately, before you even said a word in your audition, you're ahead of the game. So you come in, you're looking around, you see the hostages, you tell them to be quiet, you're looking around, and then you see the bank robbers. Boom. Guess what? You have sold to the casting directors, the directors, and the producers, and anyone else watching your audition that you are in the scene. You are feeling and, and, and actually physically in the location that they've created for you, as opposed to, I'm just in the audition room, and I'm just talking to bank robbers, which is, again, two-dimensional. Not what you want. Now, you're talking to the bank robbers and they have some stuff to say and you have some stuff to say, yet the whole time while you're talking, make sure to use your surroundings. Okay, you have to use your surroundings. You have to look around. So while you're talking to them, oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I, I totally understand where you're coming from. It's okay, it's okay. Again, you can ad lib, okay? You can you can acknowledge the fact that there's hostages that are scared. Maybe there's a kid in the corner that's, you know, crying or or something like that. Acknowledge that. Create a three-dimensional world for your audience. I can't express to you how much making your audition a three-dimensional audition as opposed to that normal two-dimensional audition that most people do will add, you know, favor in, in your corner. 
okay, that, that, that casting directors and directors and stuff will look at you specifically as unique, as someone that is, I can, you know, I can trust them on set to give the performance that I need because they're not going to just be one-sided and, and you know, one-dimensional or two-dimensional, whatever you want to call it. They're going to give me a fully rounded performance. This is how you can prove to them that you are able to do that. Number two, another one of the biggest things that I find that actors forget to do in their auditions is use their senses. Sight, sound, taste, smell. These are senses that a lot of actors just forget about when they're breaking down their scene and, and, the, and the script, okay? They're just basically, again, two-dimensional. They're talking to people, but they're not interacting with their atmosphere and using uh, their senses to help sell that. For example, say you are playing a detective, okay? And you are going to visit a crime scene in, in the audition. Now, at the crime scene, there's a dead body that they found, and that dead body has been there for several days. Okay, so just when you break down the script, think about it, okay? This body has been there for several days. It's probably breaking down and decomposing, and the smell is probably putrid by now, okay? Um, perhaps it's in a hot building. That's another thing that you can create this three-dimensional world for. So... In a two-dimensional audition, and what most actors will probably do is come into the audition and basically look around, they see the dead body, and then they see who they're supposed to talk to, and then the dialogue begins. And that's their two-dimensional audition, and then they finish, and they walk off, and it's done. Now, in a three-dimensional audition, you're going to walk into the room... Okay, you, you, you walk in and immediately, because the smell of the decaying body, in real life, you can't ignore that. So when you walk in, it's immediately, oh. And you notice the smell and you act it out. An actor that comes in the room and sees a decaying body and just looks at it and then starts dialogue, that's two-dimensional. An actor that comes in, oh. Smells the decaying body, literally looks at this this dead body as though, you know, this isn't something I see all the time or this isn't something I like to see because you're feeling it. You're feeling gross. You're feeling this, the scent. It's disgusting to you. That immediately puts you ahead of your competition because, again, you are in the scene. You're literally showing them that I'm feeling, smelling, seeing, hearing what is happening in the scene. And I'm not just acting as what, you know, I'm just not doing what's on the page. Be three-dimensional. Feel it. Hear it. Another example. Say, for example, you are um, a, a call center employee. You're working in an office that has cubicle after cubicle after cubicle and there's people all around you. And you want to go and have a conversation with another employee. As the employee starts talking to you, okay, your coworker, you start getting in a fight, okay? Now, in a two-dimensional audition, okay, you're going to start having the conversation. You walk in, you start, hey man, how's it going? All that kind of stuff. And then the fight starts and you're like, what the hell did you say? And you start yelling, okay? Now, in real life, if we were in an office space, you wouldn't just start yelling out loud. You need to take into account your atmosphere, okay? And you need to adjust it to your presentation of, of you know, your dialogue and your, your physical attributes in that scene. So instead of just blurting out your answers and start yelling your uh, dialogue, you're going to go, you know, take in consideration that there's other employees in the office, that you're in a three-dimensional area, okay, and that you have respect for other people. So you're still going to have the argument, but instead of yelling, what the hell did you just say to me? It's going to be more like, what the hell did you just say to me? Huh? It's, it's going to be more of a, a loud whisper. Because again, you're trying to be respectful to the, the location you're in, which is an office building, a professional building. There's other people that you might not want them to hear that you're screaming at someone. And yet you're still showing anger towards that person. It's three-dimensional. It's you living for real in that scene. I can't tell you 
how much this is going to help your auditions, okay? I'm not going to go over example, 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 because you guys are smart and you get it, okay? But just keep in mind that if you're in a scene, you need to be in the scene. When you break down your script, when you're given a script, okay, for your audition, don't just memorize the dialogue, go in and do the dialogue. You need to look, where's the location? Uh, is it night? Is it day? Because again, you know, are you tired at the end of the day? Is it the beginning of the day where you have more energy? Um, is a, you know, it a stinky location? Are, are you going to show that? Um, is it hot? Are you going to show that? You know, that you're hot? Are you going to take off clothes? Are you going to be like, oh my God, it's hot in here? You have to live in the actual location that they're giving you so that you can sell it three-dimensionally. This will be one of the absolute biggest, strongest, and best tools that you can apply to every single audition you have. Making your audition three-dimensional by not forgetting the atmosphere and not forgetting to use your senses will, oh God, I can't even tell you how much it's going to help you in your audition in selling the fact that you are actually in the scene, that you are in character that you are doing and and portraying what they need you to do not only in that audition but when they cast you and and you're now on set show them that they can trust you as an actor on set by kicking ass in that audition and one of the biggest ass kicking boots you can put on is making your audition three-dimensional. So that's it, guys. Thank you again so much for tuning in. I really hope that this video has helped you out. If it has, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that I can let you guys know exactly when I post new lessons just like this one that are gonna help you in your career. Trust me. By applying this technique to your auditions, it is going to not only stack the odds in your favor, but it is going to help you book roles. It has been proven to help me in the past. It has proven to help others that I've taught it in the past. And now it's your turn. Go out there, start applying it, start studying it, and start booking those roles. I'll see you soon on set.